Hello stampers, I'm Kelly Atchison at stampabove.com coming to you from Menasha, Wisconsin in the United States. I am an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. Today for the Totally Techniques blog hop, we are featuring the technique called chalkboard. It's super fun and easy and I love the look you get when you use this technique. I am going to be using an exclusive stamp set. This is exclusive to Stampin' Up! in that you have to have a party to be able to buy it or place an order over $150. Now, I have to tell you, the set is only $13 because it's exclusive. It's one of our Stampin' Rewards items. I love, love, love the fonts in here and the big greetings. And then I'm going to be pairing that with the Perfectly Plaid and also the Christmas Tree Builder Punch. First time I've cracked either one of these open, both stamp sets, the punch, everything, the paper, I'm going to be showing you some really cool cards. We're going to start making Christmas cards and see if we can't get ahead of that game. <laughs> Speaking of games, it's game day here in Wisconsin. I am a Green Bay Packers fan. That's our professional football team for those of you that may not know. And it is game day today. So I am sporting the green and gold, supporting my team. Go Pack! Let's flip the camera around. I'll show you how to make these cards. The first thing I like to do is bring in my cardstock layers. I'm going to tell you about them, but please always know you can head over to my blog and you're going to find all of these dimensions with still photos of the projects I'm going to show you in this video on my blog at this address. So I've got a piece of Knight of Navy. This is four and a quarter by 11, and I've already scored it at five and a half. We're just going to burnish that edge good. And then I've got a piece of the wrapped in plaid six by six designer series paper. This is four by five and a quarter. Look at those gorgeous Christmas colors. Then I've got a piece of basic black. This is what we're gonna do our chalkboard technique on. And this is three by four and a quarter. A piece of whisper white, that's four by five and a quarter. And then a little strip of that designer series paper, and this is three quarters by four inches long. First thing I want to do is show you this beautiful designer series paper called Wrapped in Plaid. It comes in six by six, but look at the fun designs. And then there's also gold foil stripes on the plaids. This designer paper is going to be absolutely perfect for the holidays. And I have had so much fun today playing with it. This is all part of the Wrapped in Plaid Suite. And this is a brand new suite available in the Holiday Mini Catalog from Stampin' Up! You've got all of these products that are color coordinating and... You also have one number. There's one item code, you will get all of these. So that's really cool. Brand new Christmas tree punch that I absolutely love. We've got some jingle bells that are great for our 3D items. Some gold mini gift boxes, as well as some beautiful shaded spruce ribbon. We're gonna use that on one of our cards too. So let's get to this technique. I'm gonna bring in that black layer. And I'm going to bring in the stamp. This is one of the sentiment stamps in the greatest part of Christmas. Now again, this is an exclusive host set from Stampin' Up! And I know a lot of times when I'm placing orders, I forget about these sets. This is on page 61 of that holiday mini catalog. These are exclusive in that you must have Stampin' Rewards to be able to buy them. And then they are at a very reduced rate because they're special stamp sets. So this one, for example, has nine different stamps in it, all gorgeous Christmas sentiments. It's only $13, but the only time you can get it is if you place a $150 order, you will get $15 to spend. So you get 10% of your retail total. And then you can buy these exclusive sets. We also have a bunch of stamp sets that are in the rewards section in the big catalog on page 205, 206, 207. These are also exclusive stamp sets only available when you have the stamp and rewards that are outlined at the top of page 205. So I just wanted to make sure that you understood where these are coming from and how you can get them. Now, if you're a little apprehensive and say, wow, $150, that's a lot. 
but I know that a lot of people will order early in the month and they'll order later in the month. If you save those orders and put them in as one, you will qualify for these great exclusive sets also. To do the chalkboard technique, we need our white craft ink. Now this is a pigment ink and I am going to bring in a sponge here. I like to do my stamping last and I'll tell you why in just a second. So I'm going to get a sponge and I'm gonna dab it in my white craft ink and I'm gonna kind of rub off some of that. You don't want a whole bunch of ink on here. And now you're just gonna gently come in here and add some of this white to various spots on your basic black layer. And why am I doing that? Because it makes it look like a chalkboard. And that's the effect that we're going for today. So let me see, how am I gonna make this card? I think I'm gonna make this one a tall card. And you're gonna wanna make sure that you've got this inked up good. I like to look at the back of it. And I am going to stamp this right in the middle at the top. Now, the reason why I like to do my sponging first is because this takes a little bit of drying time now, this image that I've stamped. So if I were to stamp it and then need to do sponging, I would probably smear it a little bit. But right now we can set it aside and continue on with our card. And I don't have to wait to do that sponging. It's going to dry on its own. You can also hit this with a heat gun to make it dry a little faster or just set it aside. Let's do the rest of our card here. I'm going to grab this giant Christmas greetings. I love this. I love big greetings. They're my favorite. And then I've got shaded spruce as my ink color here. Make sure that's inked up good. We're gonna stamp that. Wow, now that's a greeting, right? I really like that. Okay, then I've got that three quarter inch piece of the wrapped in plaid designer series paper and I'm just gonna add this to the bottom of my inside layer. That's what we're making right now. If I forgot to say that, I apologize, but that's what we're on right now. And isn't that just classy? I really like doing that. So here comes our inside. Let's get that put together. And I am really anxious to see what everybody else made with this technique because I think it's such a fun technique. I can't wait to go on the blog hop. We'll talk about that in a minute too. Now I'm gonna add my designer series paper here. Now if you wanted to spruce your card up or make it pop a little bit more, you could take our gold foil paper and put a layer underneath to just give you a nice border of gold around here. But I wanted to keep these cards simple. Usually when I do Christmas cards, I'm mass producing and I don't want there to be too much fuss going on. The other stamp that I've got here is from the Perfectly Plaid stamp set. So this is um, part of that bundle or suite of products with the Christmas tree punch. We've also got some great sentiments in here. And I really like the little curly designs on the ends of this North Pole delivery. So I'm going to take that and I'm just going to ink up the swirly image. Now I wanna just kinda of wipe off the other little elements that are next to it because I don't want those. And I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to stamp that right down here. And it's just a swirl, that's all it is. That's all I'm doing is just adding a little bit more to the chalkboard technique. You could do this or not do this. It is pretty simple. And, um, let's see. I think this one's gonna get covered up, but I'll stamp it anyways, just in case it doesn't, but I think it is going to. We'll see what else we might need to do here. Now, I'm going to add some dimensionals to the back of this layer. I wanna pop this up on my card. See me just flick those off of there? Yeah, I need to vacuum my floor. <laughs> they usually end up there. And I'm gonna add this right to the middle. And then, 
You can certainly stamp these trees and punch them out with the Tree Builder Punch, but here's a cool element. This is some of the designer series paper in the wrapped in plaid, and you can bring your Christmas tree punch right in here and punch this out and use the images that they provide on the printed paper. So I thought that was pretty cool. Yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna do. I'm going to put this right in the middle. I'm gonna use my mini dimensional on the top and a bigger one right down here. And I'm just gonna put my tree right here. This is gonna be a very basic, kind of an old fashioned, simple card. Now I've got my bow jig in here. If you've seen me use this before, great, but if you haven't, this is just a, some nail holes in a piece of wood and a couple nails. So I've got this crossed over, bring it up and over, and you tie it in a single knot. And this makes the most beautiful bows, and they're perfect every time. This is the brand new shaded spruce striped ribbon and I love that it has that gold stripe in it because we've also got the shaded spruce and gold stripes on this designer series paper. I hope you can see that foil lines on there but I just thought this would be really pretty and I love how all of our products coordinate right? They're just always perfect for that and they make designing so much easier. So here we go. I'm just going to put this right up here at the top of my chalkboard. Whoops. Is that crooked? Yep. Okay, hang on. Thank goodness I didn't stick it down too hard. There we go. I want to make sure that's centered. So what do you guys think? Isn't that neat, the chalkboard look? An old-fashioned Christmas card. Let me clean up a little bit of this mess, and I'll show you a couple other cards that I made, too. Here comes another one. Now the only difference on this one is that I am using the Cherry Cobbler Diagonal Striped Ribbon. This is 3 8 inches wide. It's also in the Holiday Mini Catalog. But you can see what I did with those little elements from this North Pole Delivery sentiment stamp. I added it down here in the corner. Isn't that pretty? I chose different colors. This is the base is Cherry Cobbler and I used the green and gold designer series paper here. And then... I love this sentiment. Wishing you a Christmas of smiles and love that will last all year long. And again, with a strip of that designer series paper to carry through to the inside. And then we've got one more card here. This is a shaded spruce card base. I punched out the tree from the polka dotted paper that's part of this designer series paper. There's some um, cherry cobbler and green polka dots. Let me see if I can find it here. There we go. There's cherry cobbler and here's the green. So I just punched my tree out of that and then I used the greeting that's right in Again, the greatest part of Christmas, this exclusive host set. Happy Christmas to all and to all a good night with that cherry cobbler diagonal striped ribbon. And thanks for being one of my greatest gifts. Super quick and easy. I think this is a perfect little suite for making Christmas cards because of course the punch is really quick and easy. The paper is all color coordinating and very beautiful. I love these. Now, don't forget, if you would like to place an order for any of the products that I've shown you or anything in the catalog, you can head right over to my blog. You're going to find an online ordering button in the right-hand column. That's for people in the United States only. If you're outside the United States, you will have to find a demonstrator in your country that you can order from. When you place an order with me, if your order is under $150, please use this host code. If it's over $150, don't use the host code. You're going to get those stamp and rewards, and I want you to have them so you can get this fabulous stamp set. $13. It's such a good deal. All right. This is part of the Totally Techniques Design Team Blog Hop today featuring chalkboard technique. If you click right up here in this top corner, that's going to take you right over to my blog where you can find these projects. All the dimensions will be there, and you're also going to find still photos, 
along with a blog list where you can click and see what everybody else made using the chalkboard technique. The design team is comprised of demonstrators from all over the world and they are fabulous. I can't wait to see what they're gonna make. Before I go, I also wanted to show you, we've got these Stampin' Chalk Markers and these would be great for chalkboard technique also. If you wanted to personalize something, you could certainly do it like this. And you could put some little doodles in the corner, some little dash marks. I would highly recommend adding these to your order to do the chalkboard technique because it's a great way to personalize stuff. So this is called the Stampin' Chalk Marker. All right, you guys, thank you so much for taking a little bit of time out of your day to spend with me. I hope you have a wonderful weekend. Click up here to follow along on that blog hop. You're going to love it. Bye-bye.